Hi everybody, it's Marsha with Made by Marsha Mom. Can't get this camera angle right, but pardon the way I look, but I'm on a deep cleaning mode, so I thought I'd knock out a video because last week I said I was going to do a video, and um, yeah, this looks bad. This is my bad haircut, by the way, yeah. That's a long story. That's back from Virginia. Anyway, so third time's a charm. How's everybody? <laughs> I, um, now my headband's falling, but, um, I haven't been on in a while and I kind of have a lot to share, but I'm not going to share everything because otherwise this video would be like three days long and not go in there. But on the last two tries, I forgot to, um, get my bucket of joy here. And, uh, so I thought I'd share it with you. Now you have to pardon me because this was the bucket that was in we're just taking down our Christmas stuff right now. So <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> I did ha I did get some happy mail from Miss Carrie Penny. She did the clear card thing, which I want to do, but um, that was a Christmas card, and I know it's February. And then miscellaneous, miscellaneous. I got a thank you card from my friend Rita for the cards I sent her. And I got another Christmas card from Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast. I'm I'm digging through. <clears throat> then I got a Christmas card from Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And look, she made an angel, which was on my tree. I'm going to hang it in my craft room now. That's why it's not packed with the other stuff. Then I got... A card from, oh, 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 from Call Me Crafty Al's channel, which had some miscellaneous stuff in it. I feel very famous. You know, I feel very special. Carrie Penny, Terry, and Call Me Crafty Al. Why is there tape here? Oh, oh, it's washi tape. Carrie, I bet you this is your, oh, no. It was Al's card, correct, uh, Alicia's card. Um, and I got a Happy Holidays from Cindy at Cindy Hearts Crochet. And I got a Merry Christmas from Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Thank you for the shout out, by the way. Um, then I got Dabbling Hook, Rel. Hi, Rel. I'll be talking more about you in a minute. Um... And then, I, of course, I didn't, I don't think I shared this one. This was um, Carrie's um, Thanksgiving card. I'm still looking. I'm sorry. I tried to keep these all in the envelopes, but they were all in my fireplace. Then I got one from my family up north. Then I got one. What is this? Oh, no, that's from work. I don't need to share work. <laughs> and, oh. My Christmas card from Miss Rita. I sent her Christmas cards and um, that I made that she could give out and she even put in here. Um, I hope you uh, now you know you weren't getting one of yours. That was an inside joke. So I got Rita's card and then I got from that's from work. We don't need to hear about that. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, from work. You don't need to see that. Uh, family. Oh, and Amber, see, I found your card that came back in the mail because I'm an idiot. I keep putting 505 instead of 500 South. So, and I know this because I've sent her numerous things that have come back and still, oh, that's from family. Then I have my special one, my other special one, I should say, from Miss Seta. And look at, she's even getting paper crafty. Look at how her tea is coming now. It's so cute. Like origami, not amigurumi, which is what I call it. And then she, this was on my tree too. She made a bell, which is going to go in my craft room. Because you know, every time a bell rings, an angel gets their wings. Let me see if I've covered all the cards now. Since I forgot my last, and I got tea, I think from Carrie. I don't know, this is my bucket of joy. Um... 
And while I'm in here, I might as well talk about some uh, stash building things. I got me some uh, fabric. The girls helped me pick it out because, as you all know, dinosaurs roar. Um, Olaf. Elephants. More elephants. Because I have been... Now let me shove all this back in here because I want to be able to put it. My room is such a hot... Oh, there goes my tummy growling. Hang on, I'm going to bend down. You're going to see my gray hair. Um, I bought the fabric to make new masks. They're reversible, 100% reversible. And I make these... I made some for Christmas. I gave a bunch away at Christmas. I was going to put them in my Christmas cards, but I didn't, get them sewn. I didn't get them sewn together. Anyways, this is my new favorite pattern. I tried the pleated ones. I tried all that. But um, they're just two layers of fabric. And I know they're not medically appropriate, but I think I've already told you. I think I already had um, COVID last year at the beginning when nobody was talking about it. Um. Anyways, I make those, pardon my hair again, with the Sizzix Biggs dies. And I bought these Biggs dies, they, and they're not Cricut dies. I'm going to go off on a tangent here, so be prepared. Um, the Biggs dies go through a big shot, which is a die cutting machine, but not like my Cricut back here. Um... There's pluses and minuses to both machines, but why have one when you can have both? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, they come in small, medium, and large. I haven't made the large ones yet because I find that the medium ones fit me just fine unless you want them to back here, but they make, they're, they're pretty simple to cut. You cut, you know, four pieces of fabric, but whatever you want on the front. You put in the machine, you know, um, pretty sides touching so that when you turn them out, they're, um, you got a left and a right and you do it for both, both kind of fabrics. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, so it's really easy to cut these. I don't have to worry about sticky mats and all that. Um, but they're the kind of dyes like you had in school. If you ever were a room mom or you got to go down to the, um, teacher's workroom or whatever to make letters and stuff same kind of dies and they'll cut up to you know cardboard they cut they cut more than these kind of dies which cut basically paper and maybe a little bit thicker but anyways i've been making masks and these are two of the ones that i've made but i've made like a gazillion um using that which <clears throat> now gets me to part of the reason i talked about this my friend Rita, and there's been a couple of YouTubers when you get my cards. I am not making my cards on my Cricut Maker. And I feel horrible because my friend Rita got a Cricut Maker for Christmas because <laughs> she thinks I make all my cards with my Cricut Maker, which I don't. And I don't think I've... I mean, you can. But the reason I bought my Big Shot was because with the Cricut Maker or any die, electric die cutting machine, except for one that's actually like a Big Shot electric one, but the Cricut Maker, which you can't see in my mess, um, you have to have the sticky cutting mats, which are hanging down the wall there. And you have to have blades, which I have right there. Um, blades wear out, mats wear out. And if you want a new project, you have to be connected to the internet. They do have a way of, if it's a project you've already made, you, it'll be saved and you don't have to necessarily be connected, but you need a computer and the maker or an iPhone or an iPad or whatever to work your Cricut Maker. A Big Shot, on the other hand, it's manual and you just, you know, put in the right layer, put in your die, put in your paper, put the other, uh, I call it plexiglass. <laughs> The cutting pads on top and roll it through, roll it through to your heart's content and you could be out of power and you could still use it. But the maker has its benefits. Um, I've done quite a few things with my maker. 
but I haven't been using my maker lately. And um, so I said all that just to say that, that you don't need an electric die cutting machine to make the cards that I make. Mine are all done either manually cranking or um, punches, punches, dies, um, stamps. And I don't know, for those of you who don't know, those are dies that you lay across your paper to, um, and one day I'll get more detailed into that, but everything has its place. <clears throat> and I'm one of those crafters like Carrie was talking about <laughs> on her latest video. Um, I don't necessarily get fear of missing out, but now that I kind of change with whatever I like to do, like I was strictly a crocheter um, and I couldn't read patterns, but I've learned how to read patterns. So now I'm more um, diverse in my crocheting and I know what I like and I know what I don't like. Like I like the expensive yarn, but I don't want to buy a Swift. I really, I mean, my favorite yarns are $25. You know, my favorite designer yarns are like $25 a skein. And if I knit, it would be worth it. Sorry, I have a cough drop. Um, if I knit, it would be worth it because a skein will go further knitting than crocheting. And um, I don't knit, but I do knit. But I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and I like the colors and I like the way they look. But I am like a, um, I'm an acrylic, acrylic junkie, I should say. I, um... I've gone down to number threes with the mandalas and all that, but um, I'm not a thread crocheter. I, I've seen, you know, people who hold their yarn correctly, I guess you can do the thread, but not me. No, I'm already having hand cramps because now I'll get into what I've been up to besides working and working and working. We got through inventory in January and it was ugly. Inventory itself wasn't ugly, but pre preparing for it and the stress of it. Yeah, retail. Mm hmm So, anyway, so now I will start talking about Terry first. Terry at Yarn Joy. I don't think you can see my little, see that little basket over there? Above that's an envelope. Terry started a non-prize um, non winning contest, sort of, on, <coughs> oh, what's it called? Well, I call mine Use Balls 2021. And... Now that I'm crocheting again, which you'll see in a minute because this is all a mess. Um, I have made for January. January, I was on a big roll. Pardon the back of my head. I don't even know what the back of my head looks like. But I was on a roll in January. So I'll start with January's makes for my Use Balls 2021. My daughter on Facebook posted my my youngest grandson, Lucas. She posted a picture of him with his like t-shirt pulled over his head so it looked like a towel head, you know, a towel on his head. And she said, Oh, Luke had to make his own hat because grandma only makes <laughs> hats for um Emmett. But I figured if I made him for Emmett, you know, Luke would grow into him. But silly me. Emmett won't give up anything to his brother. So I started by making Luke Luke a hat. But when it was done, even though I counted and I did the little measuring thing, you know, I said, this will be a 20 inch hat. No, it's bigger. So this may not fit him. So I said, oh, well, if this won't fit him, he'll grow into it. I know. I had to start another hat. So I made this one a little bit thicker yarn and a little bit smaller. And, um, don't ask me. That. I kind of have the pattern memorized, sort of, kind of. So, I don't know where I originally found it with the ear flaps. But, I'm sure it's one of the major crocheters. I, I'm, I can't remember who, though. Sorry. Um, but, yeah. So, I used up. You can tell I'm using up, like, the same colors. Then, I went, well, just in case he doesn't like the ear flaps. I made, and I wanted to make sure it got to be 20 inches. So, I did the, um... Where you just do the headband first, you know, back front, uh, back loop to make the ribbing. And then you add up from there. And then I re realized that I was on the wrong side. 
So you can see a definite ridge there. So then I turned it around and I started crocheting the other way. Um, so I made him a hat that doesn't necessarily have to um, tie on his head. But if it's still too big, so you can fold it. <laughs> so I went a little cray cray. Then I had some leftover yarn. And I know, you know, you have to use the whole ball, right? To make it count for the for the unofficial contest. So with some leftovers, I made little mitts. But they don't have thumbs. He's just little. Well, he's nine months. Nine months? Yeah, he's nine months old. But I think those will work on his little bitty hands. Then I still had some leftover yarn. So I had to make him a lovey. And I know Emmett's probably going to steal it because it's got Lello yellow. And <laughs> Emmett's still, still going to get mad because I'm supposed to be making Emmett a yellow hat. And I have the yarn. And um, I just got to make it. So I made all that in January. Oh, plus this. This was a mandala. I put the... Oh, here we go. That's all I had left of it. Um, mandala, ombre, colorway felicity. I remember that last three times I recorded it. That's all the yarn I had left out of it. And it made... It's not a cowl. It's one of them longer scarves. But I don't like scarves that you have to loop around because I'll lose them. They will fall off of me and I won't even notice. So, and this was done in the, um, what, I wrote it down. Offset V-Stitch from, uh, oh, my book that's buried, which I'll have to get to later because it's buried under here. But I just see the V-Stitches don't quite line up. Can you tell? But that's how big of a thing... You can make with one ball of it. So. And yeah, it changed in the middle. But I don't care. And then I stitched it or sewed it together up here. It's just it's just like a scarf. But I I have to have the loopy ones or I will lose it. Don't even get me started about how many times I've dropped my debit card coming out of the gas station. But anyways, so there's this pile. I think I will throw it now in the box. There. Now we shall talk about what you've been seeing right here. I've joined the Randy and Rel team <laughs> and soon to be Carrie Penny because I know, Carrie, you want one. Um, bought a knitting machine. This is the um, Jammit. I think Randy's got a Centro. Rel's got a Jammit. I think um, Quirky Monday podcast, she has a Jammit. Um, and I got the Jammit. One, like Rel said, and... Quirky Monday got better reviews by like one star, but it came faster. <laughs> so <laughs> bought the jam it. <clears throat> got it last Tuesday. And what a time saver this is, because I can knit now, <laughs> technically. I right, so let me start with my first hat. I got my jam it on uh last Tuesday, I think. So a week ago. Opened the box at 3 o'clock. And by 4.15, after, you know, working through some, you know, building it and doing, by 4.15, I had a hat. This is Kate's hat. Now, it looks pretty good on the outside, doesn't it? On the outside, on the inside, however, this is the yarn that came with it because I thought I needed waist yarn, but I don't know even know what that is, so don't ask me. Um... It kind of, it didn't really drop stitches. It just kind of made them looser. So while she could actually wear this this way if she wanted to, but see how it's kind of flawed? She doesn't wear it that way because Katie can't have flawed. She does have a fairly decent size hat and she loves it. It's very soft. It's, this is um, Red Heart, I think. But the pink seems softer than all the other stuff, which I'll get you. So hat number one. Then, of course, I had to make Jessica a hat, and I think this is hat number two. But I was using up a ball that I had started for something else, and it's not this one because I got my tension right. It's tighter, and it kind of slips off Jessica's head, so it starts working its way off during the day. So I think it's because I didn't put as many rows. I think this is 135 rows, which is probably too small for a... For someone her age. Although she has a small... I don't know. But anyway, so it works its way off. So, But she liked the yarn, so she wears it. 
And that one, as you can tell, is not flawed. Then I had to make another hat. First I had to watch Carrie Penny's episode. Then I made a third hat that day. So by roughly, I would say a three hour period, I got three, three hats. Although you can really whip them off in like 30 minutes if you don't mess up. But this is the third hat. This this yarn, again, is a little softer than um, that sparkly one. And no flaws. Tension, like Ralph said. Um, I still put it in the third one out, but I kind of do what the one lady said. I kind of keep my hand on it to make sure no knots are coming through. But I can tell you, I can't remember if it was this one or this one. I thought I broke my machine because it was just cranking so hard. But all in all, and I think it was a sparkler. I can't remember. Maybe it was this yarn. There's only one like tiny like line there and I don't know why. But third hat. So now I'm a knitter. <laughs> this morning, just this morning, I decided, well, I had all these little balls laying around. And I went, well, I can't count them as completely balls used up and then I don't have the yarn bands but um I made this hat just before recording now this one only took about a half an hour that's even with changing colors however um it's reversible but I screwed up big time I dropped stitches and I know how to pick them up but I tried to pick them up while it was still in the machine so don't do that because the um, so look, are they V's? Yeah, I guess you call them V's. See these little V's here? If you drop stitches and you pick them up from the correct side um, with your crochet hook loop, 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 loop um, it turns out pretty good. I like an idiot, tried to do it from the inside of the machine so look what I got. Um the little V is on the inside and the mess is on the outside. So I don't think they'll be able to wear this hat this way unless they really fold up the brim like <laughs> because then it'll hide. But good thing about the hat, it's reversible and the outside looks just fine and then they can wear it with a little bit of blue peeking out if they wish, depending on how cold their ears are. And now it's warming up in Florida. It's almost time to, you know, clean out the pool and junk, but so I'm a knitter. Yay. What else do I have to show you? Oh. I have to cover it up. I would show you what I made for Miss Bonnie at um, Strawberry Bonnie Crochet. But I sealed it up and it's really sealed. So you'll have to wait till um, Bonnie gets it. I was supposed to mail it last Monday. But um, of course I left to get the girls and I forgot. But in a cute strawberry. See it? That's your hint. Then I made um, some more cards. These are all going to Emmett. I'll probably have to, I'll probably just bring them with me because I'm leaving on, I think, the 19th. Got alligator. And we've got baby sharks. But this time I made grandma shark ones. But this is daddy shark and baby shark. And this is mommy shark and baby shark. And I even put little sharks on the inside and little fishies and then hearts for my Emmett. I've got to mail these or bring them with me. So I made that and then my big project. Oh wait, one more little one. See, I've done this three times. So I'm, I'm confused as to what I've done. And I've already been talking 24 minutes. I started a dragon. He still needs his spinies, but I think I have to assemble where I'm at right now. He's all pinned together. And I hope I didn't drop any pins out because my feet will find them in here. And I got this dragon pattern out of this book here. Mini Kingdom. Now they look mini, but if you use worsted weight, you get big old ones. So um, I'm not investing in littler yarn. Just not going to, but there are 36. You can't see them real well. I'll try to hold it still for a minute, but it's like the whole flipping kingdom. 
There's a beekeeper and a wizard and a dragon and there's flowers and a flower girl and a little lamb. Um, the dragon is supposed to look like, can I find him? Well, there's him and his crew, but see, he's supposed to be multicolored and stuff like that, but yeah, I didn't do that, you know, because I do my own thing. So I bought that book because I got to stay off of Instagram. The author put this up there and said, oh, it's now available and I had to buy it. And I don't know what I paid. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Fear of missing out, as Carrie Penny would say. Then, my big, big project, of which I'm calling my, uh, my handmade tail, handmaid's tail afghan. I started using up some blues, like these were left over. You'll recognize them from some of my projects, but blues and greens, and now I'm working into some purples. Um, and I don't care if it matches, but this stitch is called, let me get my book out in a minute, but I just wanted you to see the stitch. Very mindless stitch. I can't do amigurumi while watching Handmaid's Tale because too much goes on in the background. And it's attached to the purple. But it came out of my book, 500 Crochet Stitches. And this one's called Block and Offset Shell Stitch. It's on page 116 in case you own the book. And on my um, cowl, that stitch, Offset B Stitch, is on, when, on page 127 in there. But what I like about it is it's mindless. It's done on a basis of five stitches. It's um, five double crochets and then a... Um, a five stitch shell, then two stitches, then five or two chains, and then five double crochets. So it's mindless. You can almost do it without even looking at it. I have made quite a few mistakes in there, but you know, you can't really tell. Either I forgot chaining or I forgot or I put six stitches in or whatever, but yeah. It's going to be purdy. I don't know how wide it is. I haven't measured it, but it was one of those things where I just chained the starting chain until I said, mm, that's long enough. And so it's, it's a lot wider than my arm span. I could just make it a shawl. You know, I could end it here and just call it a rectangular shawl, I guess. Let's see? Yes. But I'm just going to use up like Whatever I have that, that's already started. I don't think I'm going to throw yellow in there, though, but um, or any variegated. But I'm just going to keep going for whatever reason. And, of course, I've tangled all my ends around the arms of my chair. But um, I did buy myself a planner, which means nothing. Carrie Penny, nothing. I even tabbed it. And then I found out, because I'm, readers are leaders... There were tabs in the back that I could have just used, but instead, no, I had to make my own. Because I didn't think they're in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. They come with their own little tabs for the months. Because I said, oh, I can't find any dates in here, so I have to make my own tabs. So, made my own tabs, painstakingly laminated them and everything, and used my little label maker. And I even made one in 2021. And... Oh, and there's my other stamps. So everybody have got my Valentine's cards that had the big old dog stamps on them. It's because I didn't couldn't find these, but <laughs> look, I put them in here where they belong. Anyways, I did a planner, and I had all kinds of plans. I was going to do a video in January, and I was going to have all these grandiose plans, and I was going to, I was going to plan to film every time I had a day off, and yeah, that didn't happen. But yeah, so it makes a nice like decorative element in my craft room. Um, and what else? I'm, uh, oh gosh, I'm 30 minutes in, but so hot mess Marsha strikes again and I'm going to keep cleaning. I have the, um, I gotta take the tree down. 
<coughs> I have the ornaments down. I have them boxed up. I even have them labeled. But And then we cleaned out the pantry. And then we cleaned out the spice cupboard. Then we... Um, <coughs> I had to wash it. We cleaned out the top of the refrigerator. I don't know if you are like me, but it becomes a catch-all for stuff. We actually cleaned it off and washed everything on it. So, that was good. And Natalie, by the way, thank you for the shout-out. And whoever else shouted me out, because I've gotten subbies without a video. It's just amazing. Um, and I think eventually today I'm going to get in here and kind of organize this mess because now I don't have to keep anything out because I've showed you. So now all the stuff that's going to Virginia can go in my trunk of my car so I don't forget it. And then the girls can have their hats back. And I got to find a home for my knitting machine because um, Orel and, and um, Randy and whoever else has a knitting machine. I have the Tim Holtz glass mat. And I don't know if you have any glass tabletops in your house or I don't know if you can get a glass cutting tray from Walmart or whatever, but it sticks. Watch, I can shake you and you're on a different table. Yeah, see? Um, which is why I haven't moved it because I have to individually unstick these suction cups. It holds it really well. So there's my hint for the um, knitting machine is uh, put on a piece of glass because it doesn't want to, it will not move. And even when you're unsticking the feet, if you don't keep those elevated while you unstick the back ones, the other front ones stick again. So it becomes an endless cycle of unsticking feet. I should get smart, put a piece of paper under there while I'm unsticking the other ones. That'd be a good idea. Anyways, I know I look rough and uh, yeah, I, I really want to shave my head off because I got this really bad haircut. But yeah, and this is me without a shower because... I knew if I waited to take a shower and made myself all pretty for you, this video was never getting up. And I told a couple people, oh, yeah, I'll have a video last Monday. And here it is the following Monday. And I still have to get to the mail. So Miss Bonnie can get her stuff. I'm so excited for her to open this because I was really excited about making it. And I didn't take any pictures or nothing. Um, so that'll be your incentive to watch. Bonnie's channel in about, hopefully, if I get it mailed today, probably within a week. However, it does seem that my mail gets to Michigan faster than it gets to Florida. Because I mailed my Valentine's within a couple days. And my Florida people got them like a week later. And my poor, my poor Amber, she didn't get a Christmas card yet. Hi, Daisy, if you're watching. Hi, Daisy. Um... But I think that's all I have to ramble on and on about because I'm at like now I'm at 33 minutes. Oh Lord, um, and I probably forgot to talk about some stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, clean the meatloaf dish from last night because it's been soaking overnight. Because I'm not one of those that will sit there and fight with yuck. I would just leave it soaked so it comes off easier. Because like I've said in my last video, I think my dishwasher's broken, so this is my dishwasher, and um, I'm hoping. To keep working through my yarn. I'm hoping to get more videos up more often, but like now I'm going to Virginia again. <laughs> and she has no internet, so there will not be videoing from Virginia. I mean, they do have slight internet, like I can catch late at night if I'm really good. <laughs> I can go on their porch. And if everybody in the neighborhood is off their Verizon network, I can catch a video. It's nice. Or early, early in the morning, which is horrible because I fall asleep. I pick out like, you know, one of my, whoever I'm subscribed, you know, people that I'm subscribed to, if they get a new video, I will hit play on their video and while I'm laying in bed <coughs> and um, I'm going to cough now and uh, watch them till I fall asleep and it'll keep playing, which gives them watch time and uh i don't skip commercials because i'm sleeping but eventually it turns itself off but that's what i do at night i like to watch you know keep keep in touch with everybody because i won't have my tv there and they don't have like i said they don't have internet so i can't youtube um so when i go to virginia it's like uh i'm forced watching satellite tv which 
not the same. Then I feel like I've missed like, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. I've missed a bunch of stuff. And so unless I go into town, but I really don't want to drive into town in Smithfield, Virginia to watch YouTube channels because I shop because she has more stores closer to her than I do to me. But anyways, hi to my new subbies, by the way. Um, and thanks for everybody that was shouting me out. And again, um, I'm all about the happy mail. So if you want a card and I don't have your address, you've never gotten a card from me. Cause I did, I did get organized in my planner. I did write everybody's address in there because I had them in like kazillion places and now they're all in that planner. So that's the one thing I would good about that planner, but other than that, um, made by Marsha mom at gmail.com is my email. If I have never sent you a card, then I don't have your address. So, um, go ahead and if you want a happy mail card, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.